Hey guys, welcome back to this edition of Teacher Tip Tuesday. Um, this Tuesday, I would like to share with you all um, a tool that has been around for quite a while, but it really is very versatile and very useful for a lot of different things. And that tool is Padlet. Okay, so I'm here at my Symbaloo and I'm just going to click Padlet. Uh, when you log in, it may ask you to log in with Google. That is the way that I log in. Um, and you can see here that your previous Padlets uh, will be up and available for you. Padlet is what I like to think of like a digital bulletin board. Okay. And so when you select to make a new Padlet, it is going to pull up several templates for you. How do you want your Padlet organized and how do you want it to display? Um, you can do a, a wall Padlet where it just kind of packs it in. Um, a canvas, so maybe you're doing a timeline sort of thing in your classroom. Um, that would be great to connect different things, life cycles, timelines, all that sorts of things. Um, a stream and a grid, um, just packing the content in. Um, and then if you have multiple questions that you would like answered, you can choose to do a shelf Padlet. Um, there are also conversational type Padlets. And then, of course, um, Padlets that connect things to maps, which would be great for all of our social studies teachers. So um, let's say I'm going to select this shelf. And I like this one because you can get a lot um, of bang for your buck in this one because you can uh, have several different questions. And so this little side pane will pop up here and you just title your Padlet. So maybe we're going to call this Thanksgiving uh, Padlet. And Ms. Sheeler, if you're in the building, could you give me a call down here? Thank you. You can make a description. So um, I'm going to write answer all the questions below. Um, and you can add different things to it. You can change up the wallpaper. So let's say, you know, I don't want this skateboard that they've given me. So I'm going to pick pictures. Um, oh, this windmill, this looks nice. So I'll just pick this guy and it puts it on there. So I'm going to click the back arrow and back again, because I've got that set. You can choose color schemes, fonts. Um, you can have your post set up to, um, your new post can either bump right to the top, or if you choose last, they'll just keep falling in order. You can turn in comments, turn on comments, um, and this makes this interactive for your students. So let's say I'm gonna pose a couple questions to them, and a student replies with an answer, another student can comment and then say, you know, oh, I disagree, or I agree, or what do you think about this? You get some of those higher order thinking skills where they have to maybe defend um, their answer to a student, or they have to elaborate or analyze an answer. Um, so you can get some higher order thinking going on in there. And so you press next. And it says you are all set to go. So when you click the back arrow, sorry, we're going to say all set to go and start posting. So my first column, um, maybe I want them to say, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um, now, those of you who are primary teachers, please do not think, let's put a question mark, please do not think that this is um, not for you. Um, I did this with my first graders um, previously, and they were able to post on the Padlet, and we even taught them how to copy and paste, so they were able to copy and paste in pictures uh, to go along with their answers. So please, this is absolutely usable for everyone. So what is your Thanksgiving food? What is your favorite um, Thanksgiving <clears throat> tradition, um, save, add another question, do you like turkey or ham, question mark, and save. And so you could then take this link to the Padlet, post this link in Google Classroom and say, okay, guys, um, head over to the Padlet. I need you to answer these three questions as a bell ringer, as an exit ticket, um, however you want to apply it, and then have this displayed on your board. You can then be going around the room to monitor and help children. You can see in real time what's being posted on your Padlet. The rest of your classmates and, and students, they can all see, and they would have the ability to comment and the students to reply to their comment. They just hit the plus sign and they say, um, um, I suggest 
If you have your kids log in with Google right up here when they're on it, if they click here, they can log in with Google and it will automatically put their name on their replies. If you don't want to have them do that, they can put their name right here. So we can say, I'm Miss Shonker and my favorite Thanksgiving food is mashed potatoes. Okay, so you see how this works. Padlet is a great, great tool um, for a lot of different things. Um, for admin, this would be a great way to have um, a parking lot for your staff meetings or things like that that you have going on. If they have questions or you want teachers feedback on certain things, you can absolutely pull this up and then um, it kind of saves some of those sidebar conversations because your staff could also be um, communicating and, and kind of solving their own problems rather than having those questions that may not be for the good of all um, that take up time in our meetings and they can be problem solvers and solve their problems right here. So Padlet is a great resource. It's just padlet.com, P-A-D-L-E-T. Um, and I hope you guys find this helpful. Have a happy Tuesday.